2012 Searching for Sugarman, a documentary about a South African musician, Rodriguez, won the Academy Award for Best Documentary. But what was so surprising about that film is that scenes were shot on an iPhone. Do you have a teen interested in filmmaking but don't have access to all the fancy technology required to get into film? A course offered by the Winnipeg Film Group will introduce your teen to filmmaking using their smartphones. Ben Williams is the instructor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing all right, keeping warm. Uh, so the film industry is constantly evolving. What do you like about filming with a smartphone? Oh, what I love. Um... Actually, it's pretty interesting because back in the day, uh, you know, you had analog film and it was super expensive to, to, to develop it. And it was very hard to get into, actually, at the time. And when the smartphone came out, accessible, everybody has it. And my view is if you can control the light, uh, filmmaking is like painting with light. So essentially, if you have enough light and you can control it, then your smartphone can capture your imagery and do just as good a job as many of the cameras that are out there now. Are people surprised when they find out that you can create uh, whole films using just a smartphone? I think a lot of people know, but then there's a lot of people who don't know. I think it's funny because this has been around for more than a decade or more, because uh, I've been shooting like that for probably close to about a decade. And I just find it interesting um, when you tell people you can do this and you can do that, and they're like, but what about the most expensive cameras? I'm like, man, you know, get your story out. If you can get your story out, um, the, it doesn't matter what the tool is as long as the image quality is decent. And really, it's funny because... Um, you know, we always have this thing in the film industry. We always talk about like, if your sound quality is bad, then, you know, it's not, it's less forgiving than a poor video quality. So mm -hmm. yeah. tell me about the class. What skills will you be teaching? Yeah. So essentially there's a lot that's going to be going on with this class. It's about nine classes. Uh, we're, I'm going to be talking about the independent film community and also the Manitoba film industry, because there's two different things there. Um, as an independent filmmaker, basically you have an opportunity to uh, create your own work and kind of put yourself out there as a director. Whereas in the film industry, there's already established roles and there's already kind of like like ACTRA and, and IATSE and, and you know uh, uh, folks that are already established in the industry. So essentially, uh, I'm going to show them the differences between that, uh, creating, uh, producing, distribution, uh, the aesthetics and technical skills, uh, and I'll also be bringing the mentors to kind of talk to them. What, uh, will the teens walk away from the class with a, with a film under their belt? Will they be, get a chance to produce anything? Yeah, yeah. So one of the cool things, uh, well, several of the cool things that happens with the students when they come in is that they get to network, number one, which is great. But this is all online, so this is a virtual class. Uh, they get to create new work, and um, they will have a screening that will be screened online um, at the Cinematheque. Uh, so that's an opportunity for them to, to actually screen uh, some of their work and also have an opportunity to uh, develop new skills and also develop a new career in the arts or figure out like, oh, wow, there's, there's different avenues I can go, different pathways, you know? TikTok and YouTube, I, I gotta admit, are, are very popular right now and, and we're all still stuck indoors uh, during almost reaching two years of the pandemic. How will what you offer in this class help teens create content for those platforms? That's an interesting question, and and um, that ties in a little bit of my background a little bit, and I'll be brief. Like in 2005, I started podcasting and um, using YouTube and and video blogging and everything. So so they're going to be learning from somebody who is one of the first people who kind of integrated into that space. That's one thing. Um, so the other thing is when I started working here in the film industry, uh, you know, one of the big things about filmmakers is that they have. Uh, uh, um, position themselves where their work is not just like out there and everybody can see it. There's also the whole thing of Vimeo and kind of uh, behind a, a, the wall, right? So mm -hmm. that's for film festivals and things of that nature. So essentially, you know, I'm going, I want to be able to teach them how to utilize these tools as social influencers, but also how to utilize the tools to make sure that they protect their work and that they're not watering down their, their work, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to speak to me this morning. Thank you. And one last thing I wanted to mention. This is 
a partnership between the Winnipeg Film Group and Creative Manitoba. And if you want to register, you want to go to creativemanitoba.ca and then you go to the mentorship page. And the last day of registration is January 31st. It's about 10 days from now. So thank you for having me.